All right, we're back for uh, number two, a bathroom. So I got the walkway mostly cleared. Got that cleared. There's a bathroom in here. And a toilet. Didn't know there was one of those in there, did you? So you guys wanted to see it, you said. So found a couple things. Found that. Nice display case. Some of the pickers like this crap. So anybody want a museum spoil the uh, light bulb display? I might know there's one laying around. Uh, it's got the age plastic on there like it's supposed to have when it's 50 years old already. <laughs> so, there you go. Found that. Pretty good. I got some fuses and stuff buried back in there. Light bulbs in there. Oh well, so I'm sure somebody might want that. I found a window for the uh, front door. Dad's like me, I knew I was going to find it. And of course we find the uh, the rails that hold it all in there also, which was missing. So, looks like I have to find the screws though. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave it looking for that for about three months now. I knew I'd find it at some point. So the toilet. Brand new 1965 image. In the sink, it goes with it. Of course, he had the original paperwork laying in the sink in here for the uh, for the fart fan. That's over here somewhere. There it is. So there's how to work on your fart fan from the 60s. There you go. Vintage. A vintage fart fan, brand new. Lightly broken in. With instructions. Yeah. I bet you can't find those online anywhere. I bet you nobody cares either. This is a faucet with a pop drain. Yeah, let's see. Does that turn probably? Yeah, it doesn't turn anymore. Those still work. Those fancy, those are fancy knobs there. Those are made for dirty hands to use. So this is, appears to be frozen. So we're going to have to uh, make that work a little better. The old handy CRC. Free things up a little bit. Somewhere in there is a, a rod. Turn. I'll well lubricate the knobs too. What the hell? Seems trying to move down there. I want to break it. A lot of pressure. I had to pry. I had to pry the door open to get it open. There's a piece of plastic in here. Older than God. Rubber, piece of rubber. So, what is this thing? Well, this looks pretty fancy. I wonder what that does. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez, oh, come on, you're kidding. Oh, that is so stupidly simple. <clears throat> That's not a rotation device. This rotation do nothing. Now that is stupid simple. Pull up and down, there you go. So I guess that's supposed to stay down, you go like that, it opens. No wonder it wouldn't rotate. It doesn't rotate. It doesn't stay sealed either. Maybe it does. Okay. See, they weren't so dumb in the 60s. <laughs> They'll discover that again, you just watch. So, there's some more unknown parts and pieces. I don't know, it's like a paper roll dispenser maybe, I don't know. Here's a water guard, water conservation. Goes inside your toilet. See, even back then they were conserving water in California. 
no date codes on this stuff. But the phone number's old. It's no no prefix numbers. Just San Diego number. Alright, so there's more hidden stuff. So the original marble covered toilet. Hasn't exactly been flushed in this century. <laughs> this has never been used as far as I know. Let's see, who's that made from? Sears. Alright. That's a genuine Sears toilet. There you go. If only the best. You've got a water line work in there so you don't get confused. It was inspected by number 62. So I like is everything in here is brass. It's all brass. Not that plastic crap like they have nowadays. So there's a water guards you put in there to conserve water. Now this is stuck here, so I sprayed it to try to get it to free up a little bit. I'm probably gonna take it apart and See what's in there. It's probably some kind of a rubber thing that's harder than hell. So we'll see if we can salvage it. Otherwise, we'll have to rip all that old crap out and put new plastic crap that doesn't work in there. Yeah, the camera didn't like that. There it goes. Boy, that camera was not happy about looking at that toilet again. So, but anyway, there you go. We got a bathroom that's almost functional. Hidden plumbing. Anyway, I gotta work on this here. I guess you don't need toilet paper back in the old days. There's no toilet paper in here. <laughs> oh well. And I got Dad's old uh, bike lift sitting here on the floor too. So. There you go. Custom made by Dad. What should I do with this? Hide it, sell it, scrap it. Yeah. Guess which one's it's gonna be. Probably the hide it part. Alright, I got a couple of things I want to show you up here, but I gotta go up to the second floor. We'll be back.